Hi guys, again, uh, this is Vijay. So in this, uh, this is episode number four, we are going to discuss about that Arista licensing. What all the licenses Arista offers that uh, for their products. So Arista has, you know, a different type of licensing altogether. Unlike the other products, let's take a look about the Arista licensing. So basically Arista uh, has uh, multiple types of license. One is for the physical devices. Second is for the virtual devices. Uh, on premises, whether it is on premises, whether it's for the uh, virtual environment, then you have uh, Arista also offers that uh, cloud uh, based uh, licensing, and it also offers the cloud vision license. What is the cloud vision? The cloud vision again is nothing is uh, centralized uh, the management plane, which can automate the uh, centralize your entire infrastructure for the Arista products, and for the public and pr private clouds. So Arista has different type of uh, module or, or the modules for the licensing. Let's understand that what all the offerings uh, Arista provides that. So we can come to the Arista content in the licensing. It offers the use license, encryption license, you know, cloud vision license, cloud vision Wi-Fi license. Uh, there is various type of license which Arista offers that. What is the relevant for us here is, so when you purchase and go for the license uh, for like, fixed module or for the you know uh, the, the modular based uh, license so these are the some different type of uh, you know the name or translation you will get in front of the license where you will see that license is uh, then you will get the www when it refer where it will refer that fix means fixed module license mod means uh, the modular based license then it comes to the y and z y is a platform but it's for, for like how you know if they said full like you know one uh module fixed module with the one uh, line card whether you have two line card four line card five line card this kind of things it can be managed then it, it offers the feature so in the feature set it defines that what type of license you have right when it types of license you have the the arista offers different different type of license one is the base license which is uh, uh is by default coming when it when you want to have the you know, more than base license in a base license you will get that layer two protocol mlag static routing rib uh, advanced monitoring linux snmp vrf uh, you know control pen security these are the basic you know base thing you do not need to pay for this license but if you're looking for for example you know advanced routing dynamic routing uh, multicast vxlan layer two vxlan or the gi tunnel or the for netting you need to go for the uh, purchase of the license we call that e module e license we need that the feature set so Arista will ask you the what feature set you need. You will say that I want e license. It means these are the features I'm willing to uh, enable in my environment. Then, if you need kind of layer two or advanced VXLAN eVPN kind of things, then you will pay for the flex slide, which is which includes that e plus two extra feature we call that eVPN, then MPLS feature and segment routing. When if you're looking for the, uh, you know, uh, the better for more bigger routing table, for example, your bigger routing table is more than 250K, uh, the millions of routes you're going to receive in your router or process in your router. Are you looking for the advanced MPLS, you know, MBPN, VPLS, a lot of advanced, uh, you know, kind of service provider license, I would say that. When looking for, or looking for the super spine deployment, then uh, I would prefer to say that the flex light license, Flex light license will include that E plus LT, uh, E plus uh, flex light plus uh, flex. It will include that, this we call the flex license. FLX, we, I would not say flex, it's a FLX license. FLX license will include that all the advanced feature, uh, uh, whatever you require that. When, now, when it's come to the uh, some other feature, for example, looking for the uh, uh, multi-domain segmentation uh, services, when you're looking for the, you know, MSS firewalling, exchange, you know, telemetry analytic, uh, looking for the Splunk integration, looking for the trace uh, enablement, containerization, when looking for the SDN controller integration with the NSX, looking for the VXLAN control plane services, this kind of, uh, you know, feature, if you're looking, looking for your Arista devices, then you need to purchase the add-on license, which call that V2, along with the E flex, you know, you have to add that V2 license. But if you're looking for the like zero, zero test provisioning, open, open flow or low latency analytic, or looking for the, you know, state streaming or inbound delivery, uh, then you will add that extra add-on which call that JIT, okay? Now, 
So how the license will look like eventually. So eventually will be, you have to purchase any of out of these three, you have to purchase any of one. Then out of two here, you have to purchase second one, just like a Cisco offers the various type of license. They do not, uh, you know, mercy the customer. Similarly here also have a lot of uh, other, you know, of features or the uh, features with license you have to purchase. It. Okay. Now, if it's come to that, what the duration of the uh, the license, you have the one year license, two year license, three year license, four year license, and five year license. These are the life cycle of the products and their license. If you're purchasing the license, and these are the, you know some sort of products which uh, support the two year license. These are the only products which support the three year license. These are the only products which support the four year license. These are the only product which support the five year license. Uh, is this is something is uh, is no one can understand that why this is because if I'm purchasing the, any other product I should have the flexibility to offer that any license right but this is how uh, has been designed by the Arista and like this one now let's come to the table of the mapping license product uh, for the Arista one gig or something like that then these are the some you know uh, license will look like license flex G plus E what is the meaning of G here we have discussed about the meaning of G here is G means one gig. Here is a fixed module. G means if it is offering the G or uh, CG based is variable attribute, which is the chip capability for the system and port speed. If we having the G or something kind of, then it's a one gig uh, uh, of the switch we have here. Okay, then this is, these are the feature V, V2, whatever you want to have. This is a fix. You want to have the G. Uh, let me check that G again. Gigabit, yeah. These are the uh, type of you know license. You when you purchase that for the modular device, these are the modular device license which you get that, right? Then uh, these are the some again uh, description of the you know uh, the license. If you're purchasing the Max, all the things you're purchasing that. This is how you will look at your license. Yeah, I mean uh, these are the license type. Uh, which you will purchase that when it's come to the suppose if uh, this is the for the products you know if you're having the Arista uh, devices when you have the cloud vision product which is again another product whether it's for the on-premises or whether it's for the cloud services in this case these are the license uh, features and functionality to, it offers separately you have to purchase that so it, it start with the SS okay the normal start start your uh, product license start with the license LIC and if you're purchasing that cloud vision kind of product, it will start with the SS license, which is a sort subscription software. Uh, CB means, you know, cloud vision, CBS means cloud, cloud vision, CBSC means cloud, VC. all this, you know, details, you can figure it out. It has, you know, also various type of uh, uh, license. When you have want to have the whether you want to have the Vision Lite, whether you want to have Vision Premier, you know Vision Lite, which offers that zero touch provisioning, configuration switches, routers, device based configuration, you know static route configuration, control the configuration, inventory management, you know topology visibility and streaming and setting the you know US API access, you know all these things it offers the functionality. Right? When you want to have more, for example. PSIT, just like a vulnerability check, whether you want to have telemetry, whether you want to have multi-cloud integration, like public and hybrid kind of scenario, if you want to have an analyzer for flow for both the environment. So basically, uh, if you're looking for the bug scrubbing kind of report, then uh, CV license or the, uh, the premier is the one, uh, the solution which we sh you should be going ahead for the cloud visa. Okay, again, this is a totally depends on what your requirement is. Okay, based on that, you can select that, uh, these kind of uh, uh, things. And also you have to tell that how many devices you want to integrate with the, you know, these, uh, you know, cloud vision and all these things. See? So that need to be also in a consideration, uh, what type of license you want and how many devices you have. And the third license type is a, your, uh, the wireless solution license, which I will not uh, discuss here, and the wireless solution license I will be discussing in a different uh, separate module, which I will cover when I will cover that uh, uh, wireless. I will attach this uh, 
slide in the description. So you will have the better view of uh, the licensing. So you will not get confused during, during the order or you know uh, describing that or understanding the products. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you in next uh, session when I will start that lab.